Hey, 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 beautiful people. How are you? Glad to have you back on your favorite show, Not So Complicated, a show brought to you by the Innovation Consortium. Cheers to my boys. <laughs> the only show that has so much sense of humor, the only show that breaks down everything to elements understanding. We talk about everything, like I always tell you. So please endeavor to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Innovation Consortium. Videos are on, episodes are on, up and running. Uh, we like the feedback you're giving us. And please endeavor to tell a friend to tell a friend to go subscribe to our YouTube channel at Innovation Consortium. Watch our videos. Tell us what you think about them. Tell us what you'd like us to discuss. Tell us what you'd like us to break down for you. Like I always say, endeavor to follow us on all our social media handles at Innovation Consortium. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn, everywhere at Innovation Consortium. Because we bring you only the best. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and learn with us. So today on the panel with me, I have Bob and Monarch, who is my main guest. Glad to have you on the show. I have D Mama, the joker, the only guy who likes talking about his drink. Glad to have you on the show, boss. What could, what could be in that cup? <laughs> then I have Council Daniel Walusimbi, the only guy who is so complicated. <laughs> Daniel, glad to have you on the show. Talk about my leads. I'm one of the most ardent leads. Fans. You're in the relegation zone. No, we are not. Glad to this have you on the show. Chosen team. Glad to have you. My pleasure. Then, say Kanye Steven, the optimist, the only guy who is on strike. If he ever goes to a saloon, <laughs> then you know we're going back to lockdown. Glad to have you on the show, Steven. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Today's topic is about silage and hay machine. Bobon, tell us about a silage and hay machine. And before we go that further, what is silage and what is hay? Silage is basically getting agricultural waste or fresh waste, fresh agricultural plants. You chop, you harvest them, chop them, compact them and seal them. And then after you can feed them to animals. Okay, so you chop, you chop fresh green. It can be fresh yes. or it can be residues. Oh, okay. Like, uh, let me say, if you, after harvesting, there are residues. Yes. Of culture, you chop, you chop them into smaller pieces. Yes. You compact them, then you seal them. By sealing, I mean you put them in any place which is airtight, so that there is no air going into it. Okay. And then after you can feed to animals, any time you would prefer to. Give us an example of those agricultural feeds. Most people think about maize. That you get maize and then chop it and then compact it, pack it and but in general, any agricultural waste which is can be chewed by an animal, can be chopped into smaller pieces which are chewable, compacted and sealed. Oh, okay. Yes. And then what is hay? Hay is basically you 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 harvest, let me say anything agricultural. Basically, people think about grass. You dry it, and then. You feed the cows at any time you you prefer to. Okay, and tell me, uh, uh, how long can uh, silage, uh, you know, be kept safe for the uh, cattle or? In, li in literature, when you go to Google, they say seven to ten years. But uh, where we have used it, we have used it for three years. Three years. Yeah. Oh. We do process once. We we pack it, put a cover around it. Yeah. And if it occurs. So the ice I've seen was on Mr. Kamari's farm. Yeah. Took it for three years. Oh, okay. Yes, but Thank you need to take seven years. Okay, and, and hay, uh, how long can hay be kept? No, hay, you don't keep the hay. Basically, you dry the grass, stock it somewhere. What our machine will do, will do because when, uh, when, the, when the grass is dried, it's a bit hard to chew. So our machine just processes it like mirrors it or cuts it into smaller pieces. You soak it and give it to animals. So basically, for the grass, you harvest, dry, and keep. Okay. Time for feeding, you bring to our machine. Yes. Our machine chopped it further into such a finer pieces, which is a chewable. Yes. And then some people mix it with silage and feed it to the cows. Oh, okay. So for hay, I don't know. It has no limit, in my own view. Oh, uh, it can go Unless, for as, as long yeah. as 10 years. As long as you don't put water to rot it. 
Oh. Your beat is okay to maintain it dry Just all keep the time. It dry. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. And still, we are still before we go back to the machine. Uh, let's talk about the animals that feed on silage and hay. Usually, people when talk about silage, people think about cows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> talk about Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say. Yeah, I think Stevie. That's it. Yeah, the other short animal. <laughs> Stevie, you as the animal. Yes. What do you feed on? <laughs> um. On another hand, what is my, I, I prefer Irish potatoes. Okay. Yes, not their leaves, nothing, but just the <laughs> potatoes. And, and, and tell us who you are, who are, in what category do you fall as an animal? Okay. <laughs> I, I, I will just apologize for my colleagues, but uh, silage and hay can be fed to any animal that eats uh, green, grass, grass, herbivores. Basically, what you're doing is preserving their feeds that they've been eating in the usual time for later when there is scarcity. It uh, got most famous around the world in places where there was winter, where they couldn't access grass. Uh, for our particular system, uh, it's about the dry season. When the season is dry, and nowadays pastoralism uh, can't be practiced uh, like it, free-range pastoralism can't be practiced like it's used to, so you go for silage and hay. Yes. Okay, chasing from the north. Correct. <laughs> so, Mr. Dan Walusimbi. The animal knows more about science than you do. <laughs> but uh, I've been wondering because this animal can even speak and very good English. <laughs> uh, by the way, I wanted also to ask, um, I've heard of these vegetarians. They only eat green things. As, as, an, inno as an innovator, tell us, is there any silage that you can do for them? <laughs> Uh, let me answer for the innovator. For the vegetarians, they invented the blender for you. <laughs> you blend the green. They blend the green. <laughs> so I think we have really broken it down for our viewers, uh, what silage and hay means. So right about now, let's talk about the machine itself. How did you, you know, come up uh, with the idea? I had a, fr a friend who was a farmer called Kamadi Pascal. And he has a number of cows. <coughs> And he had wanted to buy a silage machine. So he went to buy one on the markets we have in Uganda. But I think before he had had one which didn't work well. So he reached out to me because he knew we had a mechanical workshop where we have some number of machines. So he asked me whether I can come up with a better version. So he gave me a few of the hiccups he faced in the other machines he had bought. Okay. So basically it was Kamal's initiative to make us to who, which drove us to think about my about age machine. So we basically that, that's how it came all about. Oh, okay. Yes. So your problem self solvers? We are prob we are all problem solvers. Both our problems and other people's problems. So I'd say by then it was Kamali's problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm pretty sure that uh, always the faster the first machine uh, never usually gives you the best. So for how long has the machine been in existence? Uh, what have you uh, uh, improved on that machine? Uh, take us through the story uh, of the silage and hay machine. I think Thank before you. I take you the story, I first appreciate the patience of Kamal Pascal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it might need little knowledge about new machines. Especially the first machine, the first design you make. Trust me. It has many faults on it. So Kamai reached us out in about 2013 mm. and addressed the problem. So we made the first machine, it had issues. Wait, that's about 11 years ago? That's, no, that's about nine. Nine? Yeah. And oh, what was fun about, uh, what was about then was, uh, what was so funny? The machine would chop, but it could not cough out the grass. <laughs> <laughs> so the machine was eating well, the grass. It was eating the grass. So... <laughs> <laughs> no, by because uh, at our workshop we run trials, Wait. so we run a trial <laughs> from. <laughs> so we run a trial from. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, maybe hungry. But the most funny thing was. <laughs> <laughs> No, the most funny thing was, I remember Kamal came in the evening at around six to take the machine. So he brought the fire papa. So he brought us the car. Uh, we wait, wait, wait. You made a machine to solve a problem. <laughs> it was keeping. <laughs> so, when Kamal came at the workshop, first we are so happy. Our engine is there. 
I think they, they even shared that picture. Yeah. I have it. Yeah, so when, when we put, what, 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 what are they putting in our maize stems? Ah, yeah, yeah. The machine was, the just, machine was hungry on the animals. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy, because I've been doing machines now for about uh, 17 years. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's complicated. <laughs> what was so funny was the... I just got shocked, but my guys, the people who skill, I used to, I worked a machine with, they are those who are students. Some were, well, a few of them were, were knowledgeable. They just couldn't build a machine without coffee, get it? <laughs> yeah, they had put in so much. So I remember I had to go back on my drawing board. Mm. And that Kamali didn't fume, didn't quarrel. Mm. They knew it was a trial. You so. knew it was a trial. So he told me, Byron, how soon can you save it? Because I said, give me a day. So somehow we fixed the machine. So you floated the. We floated. We learned some few things. We dealt the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we dewarmed it. Then we do small. Ch we we did, we did some small changes, mm -hmm. and some of the machine worked. It coughed. It started coughing. But mm -hmm. even from that coughing, what we got after on site was the guy had the about thirty-two acres of base. You bring a machine which can't even chew a quarter of an acre per day. And it was time. It was the time. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy, the guy ever asked you, hey Byron, so basically the thing was, uh, the machine was working efficiently, but its production rate was so low. Mm, the production rate. Yeah, that was one problem. So we are, I remember we had to try another machine from Brazil, Africa to compensate our machine. Okay. Then from there, the had failure rates. Mm. And I remember, because we are learning it, so there were challenges. So we did some modifications and we moved together on those machines. To keep the story short, we, the more we used to face on changes, we went on modifying it. Mm -hmm. And now what you have now, it is, uh, I personally we call it first generation of the edge machine. Failure rate is almost zero. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, so basically, that would be the story. So Let's talk about the fourth generation. Uh, let's talk about the appreciation. Uh, has the machine been, uh, you know, uh, exhibited somewhere? Are people appreciated? Uh, do you have any client appreciation? Any Tell me. To back up yeah, this machine's performance. I think the first person will be Kamari Pascal. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, I think he owns the he owns the design mm -hmm. because initiator. But as I was on part of presentation, we have presented it when a number of occasion people have come, especially the exhibitors who want us to present in their agriculture what? Agriculture exhibitions mm -hmm. in Lugogo. We have also been in Makerere University. We were exhibited in uh, UDB. We were second runners up, but I hear we're supposed to be the we first. First, first runners up. There yeah, is a winner up. and the first runners up. So I was told you were the first runners up. First so runners so up. I think they will share you the poster. Mm -hmm. We got an award there. And you won how much? I was told there was some money. You want people to suckle <laughs> me up. <laughs> Which year was that, though? Uh, it was, I had forgotten. The high growth uh, UDB. High uh, growth innovation, uh, UDB. innovation challenge. Oh. So we, I can't remember the year. I'm sorry about that. Mm. That one, like, I can't forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh -huh. So basically, we were with our one and our and we are still improving on it. Okay. And uh, I know, you know, some things, uh, just innovators, you do something, it works. Somewhere, somewhere the fire, the fire dies. Mm -hmm. So, but basically, at the moment, we have the most efficient trade machine. Wow. Those on three levels, mm -hmm. we have the small one, the medium, and the large one. Oh, okay. Let's talk about the levels. The small one is for uh, people with uh, small farms? Or yeah, if you have like three, uh, I want to say capability, they help you in the growing process. Mm -hmm. And basically, is the, if you have three cows, four, Oh, yes. There's a smaller one. Oh, yes. So if you now you skip to 10, 15, there's a medium. Now if you go above that, there's a large, there's a large scale. And this came about by the problem I told you about that at Kamari we had 32 acres. Mm. So we realized there are, there are farmers almost bigger than Kamari. And the problem is in making silage, they usually give themselves almost a week to almost turn 100 acres into silage. So we have to come up with a bigger machine. Okay, and uh, yes. sizes come along with the cost. Exactly. Oh yes, I understand. Uh, most of the of the machines on the market are imported, and uh, uh, your machine is better than those ones imported. I was told because uh, I had processes uh, uh, both silage and hay. 
I would like to know what are the benefits of the machine? Is it durable enough? Uh, tell me about the repair and maintenance after how long? Tell me about the machine itself. Benefits to the users. Basically, if uh, to be honest, if Kamari came with issues, but the most important issue focused on was the cost. <laughs> because most of us focus on the cost. So currently, our machine is cheaper. It's almost half the price of those which are imported. And our production rate is slightly higher. That's a wonderful. Two, the other benefit is that you can find the manufacturer is accessible <laughs> <laughs> to you. So you don't call someone, you know where to find the manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the benefit, you know where we are. Yes. And you handle your complaint. Um, the other thing is, uh, which most people have used it at uh, grid was that. Uh, our durability mm -hmm. is far higher than the imported ones, especially this can be seen the strength of the material we are using. Mm -hmm. uh, then the other thing is, uh, you really, our machines, I've told you, that side is hey. Most machines come in an individual setting. There's a mesh one for side edge, one for hay. Oh, you so buy two. If you want to you do side edge and hay, you uh, buy two machines. Yeah, it is so your machine does both, both at, a go? Uh, at a go. Oh, wow. So one machine does that, That's even plus innovation. food processing for mm -hmm. animals. Oh, yeah. Uh, the other benefit would be, I came to realize with Kamali that every farmer somehow has their own conditions <laughs> they give. Mm. So with us, if you have a suggestion as a farmer on the machine, we are able to compare it to new. Okay. So we, we are able to customize a machine so to, the your own, to the farmer's requests. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. I think that is very wonderful. And uh, I maybe the already. most interesting bit, yeah, yeah. because most of us, when you say the benefits, we go in two terms of money. Uh, 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 the machine you have, the big one, processes within one liter of diesel, because the engine is diesel. Mm -hmm. You process uh, about a ton of silage. Okay. Yeah. So, for one liter of diesel, you're able to process a ton wow. and how of silage. In how long? Which when did you last buy if you went? This, <laughs> this, this man does not have a car. <laughs> okay, you don't have a car. Is it was the other? <laughs> so it, it, uh, it does process at one ton? One ton? One liter? One liter. Of 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 and in, how, in how long? It takes the big one, mm -hmm. which I suppose it gives you three to four tons an hour. Wow. Yes. Three to four tons an hour. Uh, the smallest yeah, one gives pack. you about. 800 kilograms, mm. it's just 500 and 800. And the medium gives you about 1,000 kilos, 1,200 kilos per hour. Wow. So in a day you can do as much as you want for, for no, I think for you can compute it, yes. Oh, thank you so very much. So lastly, uh, to our viewers and listeners, let's talk about the challenges and how you've been able to mitigate the challenges uh, you faced in this whole processing journey. I want to complain by the change I've seen is most machine on farms fail not because the machines are incompetent but it is sad to say most of our farms lack technical capacity. People with technical knowledge. I want to do this workmanship. No, they, they, they don't take time to understand the machine. You realize oh. you bought a machine, someone sees you're supposed to only put in maize stems. For him, he gets excited and starts put in a, 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 a No, a tree log. <laughs> <laughs> From there, sometimes people, someone <laughs> run. Some <good> <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone gets excited. Someone gets excited. Someone a branch of a tree. <laughs> then from there, you realize some people will use a machine and they, they can hear a change in noise. And this may be maybe a boat has gone loose. Mm. But they won't care. But they don't mind. They just continue pushing until the whole machine they disintegrates. Oh, yes. So a small, igno someone ignoring a boat, tightening a boat. Mm. Because we give them the spanners on all these machines. Oh. Someone just failing that. Mm. It becomes, then um, uh, from there, is, we lack, I think most of our farmers, apart, if you have worked with, I'll give credit to Kamali they don't work with us in progressive innovation. They will instead, it will be like, let me say, you use the machine for two months, the machine gets a problem, he will call you and start saying you have cheated him. Mm -hmm. 
Yet he has been using the machine for two what? Two mm -hmm. months. That mm -hmm. appreciation and saying, but I've got this problem, we lack it. Mm, and someone I, wants to accuse mm, you. Because I now you see, even, even the phones, we order like, you know, Samsung, we'll give them a girl like Samsung that what did you do? Was it a Note 9? Which got issues. Mm, yeah, and the batteries were yeah, yeah, exploding. Recall, yeah. But a company on that level, people had to, it was all, they must have made such a mistake. Sure. Then you imagine us where you're doing the machine for the first time, using almost a client man who, who has, whose budget is so tiny. The way to material. <laughs> and then they want you for no research. And then they want you, to, within the first trial, you perform 100%. So people don't appreciate. So that kind, I want appreciation. Then the, because of lack of appreciation, there is no proper growth. Mm. See, so machine gets stuck somewhere. Of course, someone does it. They want something. They want it. The feedback loop is. Then the other challenge, yeah, the people, then the other challenge is so people think oh, a machine should be. Immortal. You know about the motto, but uh, it's like it does everything on its own. Eh? It does. <laughs> it <laughs> what do you so it's also like man? it's also like a robot. It, I think people think that we have a, a robot. It's like <laughs> is the machine there? For him, he thinks now this one it can't fail. <laughs> I'll touch it, and then the other <laughs> ugly bit. I'll touch it. I'll touch it. The other ugly bit I have seen is is about price. Someone will go outside there and find the machine. Let me start 15 million. It comes to you, you sit back and tell you, know, my friend, I can look at the machine. But the Indian, we are buying it from there. So it is 4 million, but I'll fabricate the machine at 3.5. So that at is 7.5. 7 so yeah, that's halfway done. Mm. The guy will tell, no, 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 I want this Indian at 3 million. He said, no, I don't make the Indian. I've been honest. We buy it from where? Yeah, so from, <laughs> from, from there. Quarters, yes. And the a person squeezes you so much <laughs> that they, it's not really bargaining, it's kidding. Excuse me, I can So before you know, and then... So my question is one. So I'm pretty sure you have been selling lots of these machines, so you've been squeezed. Mm, you know, <laughs> Every class I, I, I have... <laughs> no, I have been squeezed. I will appreciate that. But uh, I will still give credit to those whom we have done the verse together. And I, for them up to now, their farms are okay. Mm -hmm. Their machines are okay. They are maintained, like, they have got benefit. Sure. And the other thing maybe summarize was, I'm saying, I don't know whether that's in our culture. On most farms, there is a bias. Mm -hmm. I have been on farms whereby there is a machine, and the machine is always failing. And they couldn't say, ah, you see, mister, let me send you my operator. We have been training people to operate these machines, and some people have trained. We have a, some border border guys who are interested. So we train them to operate the machines. Mm -hmm. You are about like three or four people. Mm -hmm. we, we got border border guys because the admins of transport was cheap. Mm -hmm. So we train them to maintain the machines, bichi, bichi. At almost plus, we are not investing much because they would move themselves. Mm -hmm. What would be happening when a, when a farm over complains and over puts things out of proportion? You would send uh, your border guy, so whom, whom, whom you have skilled at the workshop. Oh, yes. And then when he goes, he runs the machine. And the machine doesn't fail. He after finishes maybe, after maybe 50 acres, 20 acres of maize or side of your hay, he comes back. The next time when he's away, so every time you send your guy, the machine stops failing. Oh. But the other guys, people, it's like, I don't have to flame it. Like no, this. The machine understands when your guys are around. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. I think my, we have overstrained these guys so well that they are able to understand. For me, people who are uh, the machine are yeah, who are even bothered. It's not uh, complex. Uh, I'll uh, give you an example. If you go to a bother guy and you're able to train him and make it a fee. <laughs> so our machine is what I forgot as one of the benefits. It's a basic. It's not, not complex at all. But the people... The farms. Uh, the farms are not skilled, so they need to be skilled and train the benefits. Mm. Capacity building. All right. Thank you so very much. And now we're going to part short, giving you the best of what we do best. Stephen, you have the floor. Yes, boss. Part short. <laughs> ah, part short. <laughs> um, so um, anyways, uh, just talking about all the people from uh, our, our people. From our, our talking animal. <laughs> <laughs> Now, all the viewers are from the Kato Corridor, all the way from the west to the north. 
uh, this is something that could help you out in the dry season, the silage and hay machine. You could prepare your silage when the rains are here and keep your grass, or when the sun has actually come, you could cut down the grass and make hay. Um, a fun fact about uh, silage and hay, um, I've done my research and uh, there is not so much fun facts out there. Actually, people who do silage, uh, I think, okay, I won't say people who do silage because I want you to do silage, but people who do silage machines are very boring, apart from the stories <laughs> that they get when they're doing silage machines. Yes, but uh, silage and hay, uh, it is an old technology and it was brought out because of uh, problems with pasture. We still have them. So out there, read about the technology, reach out to the innovator. He has three versions of machines for you. Four. Four versions of machines for you. Which one is the fourth? <laughs> oh, no. okay. He has three sizes of machines for you. Many versions and he's still making more versions. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Man, you're a DP person. Akasim beauty bako geda. Thank you so much, Stephen, and uh, our Mr. Walu Simbi, a complicated guy. Over Please here. address me as council or president. Or you billionaire. Only done one, one semester. So, <laughs> so guys, either president. So anyway, uh, thank you for for that wonderful journey of the silage machine. Though for Omuntu Wawansi, I don't know how you call uh, silage. For Omuntu Wawansi. When I eat you, Omuntu Wawansi. When they say Omuntu Wawansi, they mean a Muganda. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 So anyway, um, I always want to only, because you have said everything, for me I would only try to emphasize to people out there that we are the innovation consortium. You think it, we produce it. So if you have any crazy idea out there, please bring it to us, then we shall produce it. And don't forget to support the God chosen oh, team no. called Leeds United. Oh, no. Thank you. <laughs> there is only one United on. and that is Leeds United. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dan. And over to the Joker. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, Maybe to differ from Stephen, he said there are no facts about silage. There are, okay, fine facts. Since Jux is not here, I've been in charge of giving you the history of, of silage. Silage has been around from as far as 1500 BC. And uh, uh, the chopping is what makes it silage. <laughs> the, <keeping. laughs> the keeping. Yeah, and the technology can be traced back to Egypt. It's even in the murals somewhere. But uh, maybe for current history, it's even in the Bible. If you go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Isaiah, what? Isaiah chapter 30. They talk about silage in there. So. I like what you're doing. Isaiah chapter 30. Yes. I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy. You want me to do, you want me to do all the work for you? But the whole 30 is not about silage. No, no. <laughs> I trust why I, 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 I he's drinking, though. So, I, over I to the I'm inventor. <laughs> My brother, I trust I what you're drinking. I, 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 I did. Okay, guys. Uh, to, be, to be honest, it's so interesting that people know about Saji more than me. <laughs> but maybe means about the machine, not about the grass. <laughs> uh, I think mine's not really fun, as you say, the... Silage people are bored. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't make silage. I make a machine. Me, <laughs> 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 what I don't know. Uh, say, guys, please. We we can develop each other together. So if you have an issue on the farm, I won't say come. I come to the inventors. Come and we interact. And you see whether you can put a smile on your face. Maybe the last thing is the, you're the host. <laughs> <laughs> we need a table here. The cup is far. What is in the cup? That is the sec. That's Shera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dear listeners and viewers. Thank you so, so much for sparing some time 
and choosing to be a part of the show. And there was pretty a lot to learn from the show. Patience, persistence, and appreciation. Thank you so very much for being patient with us. Thank you so very much for laughing with us. And thank you so very much for choosing to learn with us. We are yours truly, the Innovation Consortium. And I am Brian Lan, your host. However, endeavor to place in your orders for the silage and hay machines over to the Innovation Consortium social media handles everywhere at Innovation Consortium. Please click those buttons, like and follow our pages. Place in your orders. Trust me, in a few minutes you're going to be responded to. Thank you so very much. Brian Lan, I sign out.